David Holly, 25, had dozed off, sat up on the settee with four-week-old Carson Winter Holly snuggled up to him after he gave the infant a 5.30 a.m. feed in their lounge. But when Mr. Holly from Stockport, Greater Manchester, woke up at around 7.30 a.m., Carson was unresponsive, and the infant was pronounced dead later in hospital despite efforts by doctors to revive him. At an inquest, a coroner described the tragedy last June 24th as every parent's worst nightmare, as experts say they could not establish why the baby had died. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. The hearing was told Carson's mother, Beverly Winter, 24, who had an older child who had endured a difficult pregnancy with him, and he was born in May weighing 5.5 pounds but doctors reported no concerns following his birth. Mr. Holly, a fire and security engineer, told the stock board hearing, We both love Carson very much. Beverly had a difficult pregnancy with Carson and was told his long bones were shorter than usual. We were worried because of the way it was handled. The midwife was like a bull in a china shop, but when we saw a doctor, they put us at ease. They just said he was a small baby. Beverly had him early. We took him home and he was doing very well. He had a stuffy cold a few days before he died, but it wasn't bothering him too much. It was annoying him, but that was all it did. He was a good feeder, he was on bottles and liked his food. His sleeping was up and down, but he seemed okay the night before he died. He seemed a bit clingy and off, but we didn't look into it that much. Even after he died, we haven't thought too much of it. We had him sleeping in the bedroom in a cot next to us. Beverly took him up to his cot and he went to bed okay. He woke up wanting to be picked up at around 5.30 p.m. If he wanted something, he was good at letting you know he wanted it. He was not crying out of the ordinary. I picked him up and went downstairs and he wanted a feed so I put him on the sofa amongst cushions so he was safe while I made him a bottle. I then went back in and picked him up and sat with him. He seemed to calm down and snuggled into me. I was comforting him whilst the bottle warmed up, I was just admiring and amazed by him. He went off to sleep and I fell asleep with him on the sofa. I wasn't fully lying down, I was right up against the back and he was on my arm, I just dozed off. When I woke up I think I knew something was wrong. His skin color wasn't a live skin color. He felt warm, but I thought everything I could have thought in that moment. I looked at him and thought he looked sweet for a moment. I didn't want to disturb him, but I wanted to see a twitch or something, but he didn't. I ran upstairs and said to Beverly, I think something's wrong with him. Beverly tried kissing his mouth, but she couldn't feel anything. We called an ambulance and they tried to resuscitate him. Pathologist Melanie Newbold gave her inconclusive findings and said, he was quite a small baby for his age. He had no outside injuries or marks and was perfectly normal. He had signs of a common cold, but he was well until he died. Sleeping on a sofa or a bed with adults can cause a risk, but we don't always know why. I had to record the cause of death as ascertained. There's nothing to say any of these things contributed, but it could have. Detective Inspector Graham Jenkins, who investigated Carson's death, said, There was nothing of concern to us. I could tell it was a loving, warm family address. There were lots of toys and pictures around. There was a milk bottle out of the fridge that had been put up in a jug of water as described. There was a cot at the side of the bed in their bedroom and another child's bedroom which was a lovely child's bedroom. There was nothing in the address that raised concerns. There was nothing suspicious about his death. According to a narrative verdict, coroner Allison Much told Mr. Holly, I'm sure you think about your son every day. He was your son and it was very clear from evidence just how well loved he was and how wanted he was as a child. I heard evidence that came from professionals about his short life. Tragically, particularly in children under 12 months, this can be common. There's a percentage of children that die suddenly and unexpectedly, which they haven't found tests for yet. The pathologist had to say the cause of death was ascertained. Carson died of a short and sudden death with no explanation, which is a risk in young babies and children. It's a very tragic thing to lose a child in this circumstance. Some babies do die unexpectedly and no one is to blame for it. I'm sorry you have lost your son as a result of that. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.